It is estimated that Ugandans import over 50 vehicles of different types every year, costing trillions of shillings, paid to the sellers or manufacturers abroad. So, the government is tapping into this market through Chira Motors Corporation, which is now constructing an assembling plant in Jinja Industrial Park. Today, Chira Motors Corporation reported that a group of Ugandan engineers are in China, working with a bus manufacturer, with their products set to hit Ugandan roads in December. That company won't help us uh, complete the testing of the design of, the, of our buses and of our vehicles. They manufacture them locally there, and then we transfer the kits to here, and then have local production. What is also critical is that the different actors in the government figure out ways in which supplier packs can be developed. So that smallholder, small and macro uh, enterprises, which do not have a lot of money to invest in brick and mortar, can find some spaces where they can put a lift machine and make bolts. New saloon cars made in Uganda are expected to cost at least 90 million shillings. But questions remain whether Ugandans will be able to afford them. If the car you're going to buy, you're going to use it for four, six years. What we are saying is don't pay for it in one year, for example. The Chira Motors Corporation has been testing its car around the country. Uganda embraces technology and innovation as a means to find solutions for the home problems and also remain relevant within the global village. But one of the problems has been that a few innovators who are highly connected are the ones who get support from government. So what is the relevant ministry doing to ensure they bridge the gap? And we shall use a competitive process to choose who are the innovators to be supported based on the potential for job creation, potential for wealth creation. Sudir Biarhanga, NTV.